three years apart with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Super Sonic Yusha! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Go well, great to have you with us tonight from Bell Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and per capita, these people make as much noise for mixed martial arts as any fan base in the world, and obviously a very exciting atmosphere for the fighters in this team. It's a great environment for the fighters. It's a great experience for the fans. There aren't many places in the world that fighters love to compete in more than the Bell Center in Montreal. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. A triangle, a triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel, right? That's for his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Oh, man, that was slick. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. <laughs> All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Super Is the man of the moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete right i know you enjoyed the birth of your kids right but yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight i can't think of anything better i mean there's nothing like it you know you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights and tonight he got that done and he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight